Mr Speaker, leave, people who voted to leave in Swansea voted for good things. They voted for more money, more control, more trade, control over immigration, and now they find and they say they are not going to get any of these things. They have to pay more money. There will not be more trade. We will have an open border in Northern Ireland. And so they are saying to me they have been let down and they want to vote on the deal in front of them as to whether it stacks up to what they promised. And, and it will not. I very much uh, hope that we will get a long extension so there can be a proper collaboration between the parties to put a deal, a Labour Tory mixed deal, to the country so people can decide whether they're better off in or out of the EU. And I very much think everyone who talks to me in Swansea is saying, look, this is taking longer, it's costing more, it's much more complicated than we were told before. Uh, the French are now saying that in the event that um, we don't agree a deal, uh, in the event that we don't have a long extension, our default position we have chosen is no deal. But the, frankly, the, the people who voted to leave, they don't even like what they're seeing, let alone no deal, which would be a complete calamity. And given this House has now voted on a number of occasions to say no to no deal, it's important that the default position, I won't, that the default position isn't no deal, but is revocation. I put down a bill to this extent. It's very important that we remember we should stay uh, where we are. Uh, finally, Mr Speaker, uh, I had the great privilege of uh, opening an exhibition to Henry Richard, who people will remember was the Apostle of Peace, who, who was an MP in this place until 1888, and he uh, actually put forward the uh, to put forward arbitration in the Treaty of Paris that ended the Crimean War. He was uh, very much of the thought that the canvas for future peace and prosperity should be across uh, Europe. Obviously, we saw the bloodshed of the First and the Second World War, but now we're seeing a situation where Europe is in jeopardy of breaking apart. At last, people are beginning to think uh, we have made a mistake, and a lot of older people are saying to me now, I voted to leave, but I've got concern, <laughs> I've got guilt, and I want to make things better. I want to vote on whether we in fact do remain in the EU, and so I very much hope we'll have a flex attention, we'll have a flex tension, uh, we'll have an opportunity to talk again about a possible deal. Put that to the people, and in my mind, we should stay where we are with the best deal in the EU.